And welcome to tonight's live. I appreciate you taking out time of, out of your busy schedules to um, come on on here and listen to, you know, this astrological information I want to pass along to you. Uh, tonight, we're going to be talking about the full moon and the full moon in Libra that is coming up on April the 16th. Uh, and it will culminate at 2.55 p.m., okay? So, full moons. Full moons are all about um, endings, adjustments, acknowledgements, and shining a light on certain areas of our life, just depending where it's showing up in your chart, okay? So, this is all about um, a combination of things coming to an ending or something in your life that needs to be adjusted or acknowledged and addressed, or this could be just um, energy around things being revealed to you because we have to look at when the moon is at its fullest, it's at its brightest. So it shows everything that we need to know about a certain area of our life that we may be struggling with or things that may have been hidden or things that we just don't want to deal with and now the moon is putting a light on it and telling us we need to deal with this in some way. Whether that's an ending of something, whether it just is an acknowledgement that something is going on or just an adjustment in some way. So that's how we use full moon energy. Now, the full moon, the moon is going to be in the sign of Libra. And Libra is rules the seventh house and Libra rules relationships it rules our one-on-one -on -one relationships our interpersonal relationships with another person so this could look like uh, marriage this could look like our romantic relationships they can look like business this could look like just the relationships we go into consciously with another person so this could be our I put our best friend in this category or certain family members in this category. Anyone that you decide to make that one-on-one -on -one commitment with, whatever that relationship looks like, this is what Libra rules. Libra also is all about balance and harmony, justice and fairness. So, what this spells out to me with this full moon is an ending of something in your life. However, the ending bringing a harmony and a balance to your life. Uh, this could be the concept of you looking at a certain situation in your life and seeing how it is out of balance. Um, seeing how maybe a relationship is out of balance, how um, a work dynamic is out of balance, a project is out of balance. Maybe just you as a person is out of balance and trying to figure out what is it in this situation that I need to end, what in this situation I need to acknowledge, or how do I need to adjust what is going on with me so I can have more harmony and balance in this particular area of my life. Um, so that is how the full moon works out. Another thing is um, we're going to be also talking about how the planet Pluto is going to play a big part in this full moon. Now, Pluto is the planet of transformation, evolution. Um, it is the planet of power struggles. Um, it's the planet of death and rebirth, literally and figuratively. But particularly power struggles is what's going to be highlighted with this full moon in Libra. So we're going to talk about that area of your life that you are struggling with, um, where you feel like you are um, in some type of power struggle or something has uh, an unhealthy hold on you and you cannot figure out how to get out of this thing, um, we're going to talk about that area of life because that is going to come up here in the next 30 days. And I want you to be prepared for the possibility for this to be very, very uncomfortable. However, this is something that needs to be addressed and we're going to see a transformation in this area of your life. So, before we move forward, it's going to be at its heights for about two weeks, okay? Um, so, you're going to have um, this supportive energy to release things from your life for the next two weeks. So, this is also a releasing, okay? So, if you have any 
addictions, if you have any things that are in your life in a negative way or a way that could be holding you back, this is the energy that supports you releasing those things in your life, okay? And you have two weeks, about two weeks to support this. So we are going to start at the top of the zodiac and we're going to talk about how this full moon is going to affect you and how you can use this energy. Okay, so again, we're going to be basing it on our rising sign or your ascendant. Okay, again, if you do not have that, please listen for your sun sign. Now, if you have both, I want you to listen for your rising sign first and then your sun sign second because this is going to give you a, a big overview of what the energy is going to look like for you for the next couple of weeks and I'm going to say even the next month. Okay, so we're going to start with Aries rising or sun. The full moon in Libra on the 16th is going to be in the area of your life that governs your one-on-one -on -one relationships. So, straight out of the gate, for my Aries Risings, there is an adjustment or there is something with regards to your one-on-one -on -one relationships. So, this could look like marriage, long-term relationship, business relationships any kind of relationship that you've gone into with another person consciously and also this could look like legal proceedings so those of my aries risings that may have a legal situation going on to in your life um this could be the combination of an ending to that in some way and because it's a full moon and ending this actually may see some of my aries risings with the relationship that is coming to an end okay now relationships coming to an end can be hard and sometimes we don't want them to end however this energy is all about putting yourself in a more harmonious and balanced situation now could the relationship end and the two of you go your separate ways absolutely but you also have to look at it in the sense of the ending of the relationship as it's being done now so with with that that means you guys stay together but how the relationship is operating has to come to an end. Um, and again, this could be romantic, marriage, business, any type of one of those one-on-one -on -one relationships. This is the time where the either it's going to end or you need to acknowledge that there's an issue or acknowledge that there's something going on in this relationship that needs to be addressed. And we possibly need to adjust how we're relating to each other and the one-on-one -on -one dynamic that we have with, with each other. Okay? Um... Now, the Pluto energy for you uh, is going to be in your 10th house. For my Aries Risings, for the next 30 days, I want you to anticipate transformative changes happening in the area of your career. Okay? So that's in your 10th house. So this looks like your career. This looks like authority figures. Um, this could be a transformation with regards to how you are seen in the public and what you are known for. Now, this could be some of my Aries Risings actually um, changing their titles. So this could be a career change for you, or this could actually be uh, Aries Risings, some of you uh, getting engaged or getting married, all right? And also some of you getting divorced because you have to look at this as title changes. This is how the public sees you. So you could go from being single, a single person to an engaged person. So now you have the title of someone's fiance, or you could be ending a relationship. Okay. Cause remember yours is tied to that, that area of life that governs marriage, governs one-on-one -on -one relationships. So if this is the ending of a relationship or an ending of a marriage, you go from being married to now you are the title of a single person. But I think it's tied a lot to your relationship. I mean, I'm sorry, your um, career path. Aries Risings are going through a change with regards to their career. So I want you to be prepared for potential transformative changes that have everything to do with your career life and how you're seen in the general public. Now, some of you may be saying, well, what if I'm not working? You know, what if I don't have a career? This is all about how you show up in the world. This is how, all about what you represent, what people know you for, your public standing, and your reputation. So wherever that is that you're showing up in the public, something about you is changing in that area, okay? That's my Aries Risings. Now, next is going to be Taurus Rising. 
Um, this full moon in Libra is going to affect the area that governs your sixth house. Now, the sixth house governs health and fitness. So that's mental and physical health. Um, this is the area that governs the foods that we eat um, and also our work environment. So this is the people that we work. Now, the career is the title that we hold, but the sixth house is our work environment. So this is the people we work with, around, and for, okay? Um, and this is also the area that governs pets and service to others. Now, how this could play out. Taurus Risings, this could actually be this full moon is putting a spotlight with regards to how you take care of your physical health and your mental health, okay? Um, this full moon could be a combination of you addressing health issues, uh, you addressing mental health issues, because I always stress that this is also the house of mental health, um, and dealing with those areas of your life that you may have been neglectful of especially around your health, mental, and physical health. This could also see you making a change or ending the way you take care of yourself or ending the way you eat because this is the area that governs the foods and how we eat. Uh, some of my Taurus Risings either could be in the energy of or maybe thinking about changing up their dietary needs. So I would say to you, this could have you uh, thinking about becoming a vegan or a vegetarian or a pescatarian or eliminating certain things from your diet. Um, this could also be good for you deciding to um, possibly look at more holistic methods of taking care of yourself. So that could be through um, meditation, that could be through Reiki, that could be through you just adopting a more holistic type lifestyle for yourself. Now, I always say I am not a medical professional, so I do not dispense medical advice, um, and I'm a big advocate on traditional medicine. So even though you may thinking maybe, may be thinking about doing a more holistic approach to taking care of yourself, I still want you to make sure that you are going the traditional route and seeing your doctor. So this could definitely be the time that you need to address your health your mental and your physical health. And if Taurus Risings have been struggling with mental health issues, and I know my Taurus's, Taurians are very, very stubborn, this is going to be the time that you need to acknowledge you possibly need to get some professional help. There is nothing wrong with seeing a therapist or a psychologist or, or, a ther or whomever you need to see to help you with your mental health. Now, I know some of you are probably gonna say, well, it's nothing wrong with me. And you are absolutely right. Going to a therapist, sometimes it's just for maintenance. It has nothing to do with something being wrong with you. But it is good for you to take care of yourself at this time. Now, I will caution you with this. This full moon is about acknowledgement. So sometimes the universe will set up a situation where you have some type of health crisis in order to get you to address this. So I would rather for you guys to be more proactive than reactive, okay? Um, and your work environment. Some of you are getting a new job. Some of you may be thinking about leaving your current job, um, thinking about branching off into something different. Um, that could be a thing. Now, this could also look like with your work environment, um, something around your, either you're staying in your job, current job, or maybe you're moving positions but you're staying where you currently are. Um, but something about your work environment could possibly change, okay? So just look for dynamics around changes in your, your work life. And because this is full moon energy, some of you may be seeing a female um, coworker or supervisor or someone of that nature may be leaving the company or you no longer have the interaction you have with that person on a day-to-day -day basis, okay? Um, Let's see. Now, the Pluto is going to be in the area that governs your higher education, long distance travel, uh, foreigners, your belief system, your belief system, um, and how you see the world. Again, Pluto is a transformative energy. So, some of my Taurians are about to experience a uh, spiritual awakening. Um, so first, we're going to talk about how this could affect you. This could definitely see a transformation in your belief systems around religion and your spiritual life. 
So you may be evolving and transforming or changing your belief systems around religion. Because we have to remember religion and spirituality are two different things. And I think sometimes people think it's the same thing, but it's not. Religion is the doctrine. This is what we learn. And spirituality is the connection to the higher power, whatever that looks like for you. You may start to undergo a transformation with regards to how you worship, your faith, and your spirituality. Okay, so don't fight it. This, this is something that's good for you. Um, this is going to also be a time that you may be in a space of wanting to travel more. So trying to figure out how you can incorporate uh, long distance travel into your life and travel opportunities may come up for you. So I would say for any of my Taurus, Taurus people that don't have their passport, this will be an excellent time for you to invest in your passport. Even if you're not planning a trip, something could come up here in the next few months whereas you get the opportunity to travel. And this is also great for those of you that want to educate yourself and go back to school. Um, you may be thinking about getting an advanced degree uh, to help you along because again, it's tied into that work environment in that sixth house that you're having this full moon experience in. So maybe you need to educate yourself with regards to your skill set level to help your, your work or maybe to secure a more... Um, substantial position at work or you want to you know change what you do at work you want a promotion or you want more money this would be a great time for you to pursue your educational pursuits at this time okay uh gemini rising the full moon is going to be in your fifth house now this is one of my favorite houses because it is the house of joy this is where we where we reclaim our joy this is where the area of our life that we look at, the things that bring us happiness. So some of those things are, this is the house of romance and dating and love affairs. This is the house of our children. This is the house of procreation and pregnancy. Um, our self-expression, um, things that we take a risk on. I kind of put the stock market here. I put gambling here a little bit. So for you, this full moon is going to shine a light on things that have to do with your children. Now, that could be your personal children or children around you. So this could be if there is some type of, and I hate to say issue, but if there's some type of circumstances that are going on with regards to your person, to your children, regardless of how old they are, um, this is an energy of addressing things that are going on with your kids. Now, this could also look like some of my um, Gemini Risings finding out they are pregnant or someone close to them is expecting a baby, okay? Um, and this could just be the energy of maybe some I have some Gemini Risings that are, are considering starting a family and you're, you're ready to start a family. Now, as far as dating, for my coupled up Gemini Risings, if you are dating someone at this time, um, this could look like uh, a light being shed on that on that particular relationship. And if there are cracks in that relationship, if there are things that are need to be addressed in that relationship, they will possibly come to a head so you can address them to see if this is the relationship or the dating experience that you want to be in. And maybe you decide either, well, we can go our separate ways because we're not on the same page, or you decide to take the relationship to another level. So things around your dating life, things around your relationship. And this could be also bringing the romance back to your relationship. If you look, you feel like your, your, your relationship is no longer romantic, you guys aren't having fun together, the romance has left, this could definitely be a time when you or your partner wants to address the dynamics of your relationship and how you want to move forward in your relationship. Um, this is also great energy for those of you that, um, oh, this is great energy for those of you that have a hobby right now that you want to turn into a business. So you can start to look at how can I take this hobby, what I love, and turn it into a business and make money from it, okay? So things around that. So this is all about your children. This is all about the potential for pregnancy, maybe you or someone around you, and, um, Paying attention to your dating life. Now, if you're married, that's that's fine too because we all want romance in our relationships. 
So whatever kind of dynamic you're having with regards to another person, this is about bringing that love and that romance and that fun back to your relationship. So you have this supportive energy from the full moon to address those areas of your life. Now, the Pluto is going to be in your eighth house. So this is where you're going to get that heavy transformative energy that I was talking about. The eighth house is the house of other people's money and other people's resources. So this is the area of any type of money that is outside of what you earn, okay? So this could look like if you're in business with someone, those situations, this could look like your spouse's income or resources, okay? So monies that you garner through your spouse or people that you are connected with. This is also the area that governs inheritances, taxes, loans, child support, insurance payouts, but it's also the area of sex and intimacy. And we're gonna talk about that in just a second. So um, this could actually see some of my Gemini Risings receiving unexpected money um, just out of the blue. And again, this is going to be money that you don't earn, not from your earnings, but from money that you receive through another person or another entity. Now, for those of you Gemini Risings that are wanting to go to financial institutions to secure a possible loan for maybe a home, a car, a business, a personal loan, this will be some great supportive energy for you to um, go to those types of institutions and potentially apply for those funds. It could put you in a favorable light at this time, okay? Now, some of you may be receiving inheritances. Uh, some of you may be receiving um, just unexpected money. Maybe you, for example, have been waiting on back child support for years and then all of a sudden it comes through in some way. So, and the anticipation of funds, resources that come through another person, okay? Now, this is also the area that governs sex and intimacy. Another thing, two things that people think are, are the same or interchangeable, they are not. Sex is the physical act, and um, intimacy is the connection with someone else. Okay, so for me, when I interpret this type of energy, number one, I always anticipate that the potential for a relationship or someone to come into your life, because I consider this a relationship house. And as far as a relationship, we do want to make an intimate connection with someone. So this could maybe be the potential of someone coming into your life um, that transforms you in a way, or you have an instant um, intimate connection with this person, okay? This could also be, for those of you that are in relationships or connected with someone, a transformation around the dynamics of your relationship, particularly in your sex life, okay? So, <laughs> this actually could look like, for those of you that are coupled up or whatever your situation is, um, a transformation in how and in, in what you like sexually. Okay, so you may get more experimental. You may get be more open and fluid with what you like as far as sex. Um, this could also grow be excellent for those of you that have been wanting to try something new in the bedroom, um, whether that's with someone or solo. Okay. So this is all about um, satisfying those sexual desires um, that you keep hidden or you want to experiment with. So basically, this is a great month for some sex and getting it in and trying some new stuff. Now, this is also good for those of you that are in a relationship and a transformation around your intimate connection with someone, okay? Because we all want that deep level soul connection with another person. So you can see some energy around your, your, your relationships or your connections with another person going to a much deeper level, okay? Cancer rising, Cancer rising or sun. This full moon energy is going to be in your sector that governs your family. So this could look like your family that you were born into and the family that you've created for yourself. 
This could actually look like your physical space where you live. Um, this is also about your emotional stability, and this is definitely about the prominent women in your life. So this could look like your mother, your grandmother, your sister, those women that are close to you. So one of the things that you could see happen with this full moon is um, situations regarding your family dynamics. If there has been a rift in your family, if there's been issues in your family, contention in your family, I'm going to tell you right now, that actually could come to a head. Now, keep in mind, this is in Libra. So this is all about finding a balance and finding harmony. So a lot of times before you get to the harmonious stuff, you have to go through the hard stuff. So this could bring up issues in regards to the family, especially those issues that have been kind of swept under the rug for a substantial amount of time, and now they have to be addressed. However... It is the energy to put you in a space where you can get to a resolution and you can get to a balance in your family dynamic. Now, this is also good for those of you that possibly have been looking for the perfect home or you've been trying to sell your current home. You actually may hear some good news about the selling of a property or finding the perfect place for you if you've been having trouble uh, finding somewhere to live cancer rising. Now, this also could look like changes within your household. So this could look like people moving in or out. And keep in mind, when I'm giving these predictions, some of this energy may have already started. So, because it can start at least two weeks prior to the full moon. So some of you have probably have already experienced everything that I'm gonna talk about and I'm just reinforcing it. But dynamics around your household may be changing. Maybe there's people moving in or out or you're getting ready to move or addressing your home life. Now, please, Cancer Rises, I'm going to ask that you um, pay extra attention to the prominent women in your family. I always, I hate sounding like doom and gloom when I, when I address people's personal, especially around people's parents. But I want you to pay close attention um, to the prominent women in your family. Um, they may need you for emotional support. They may need you with regards to a health issue, or they may need you with regards to something that is going on with their physical space. Just keep that in mind. Now, Cancer Rising, um, your Pluto is going to be affecting your seventh house of relationships. Okay. Seventh house of relationships, one-on-one -on -one relationships. Okay, the relationship dynamics is just going to be a thing for you. Um, you may be coming to the point where it's about to be a final decision made on a relationship. So again, keep in mind, one-on-one -on -one relationships, romantic, marriage, business, friends, family. There could be possibly in the next 30 days an ending to a relationship. Now, as I explained, the relationship could come to an end and you guys go your separate ways or more or less the, the, the relationship is transformed into something else. So the way you used to do this relationship has ended and you're evolving to something else within the relationship. But please know there's going to be attention and possible pressure on your one-on-one -on -one relationships moving forward in this next 30 days, okay? Does anyone know Risings? Oh, Sun or, yeah, Leo Risings or Leo Suns. Now, I'm a Leo Rising. I always tell people that. I'm a Leo Rising. So this full moon is actually going to be in the area of, um, that governs my third house. <laughs> um, okay, well, I can't get off my live to call you. Um, so please go, that's, uh, govern my third house. So that's the area that governs communication. So that's communication, that's how you communicate, how you speak, how you think, how you process information, that is teaching, that is uh, education. Um, okay, I'm not getting off my live to call you, I'll call you in a minute, okay? Um, that is the area that governs our siblings, and this is my sister right now. Um, that's the area that governs our siblings, our cousins, our extended family, and uh, short distance travel and media projects. So the full moon is going to be illuminating this area of your life. So this is definitely interactions um, with your siblings. 
My sister's Danielle Parker. This is the one that keeps telling me to call her. So clearly, this full moon energy is activating right now. So this is going to be increased interactions with your siblings, increased interactions with your um, your extended family, your cousins. This is also the area of your neighborhood and your neighbors. So energy around your neighborhood. So there could be <laughs> changes in your neighborhood dynamics. Uh, there could be changes with your neighbors. Maybe you are getting new neighbors. Uh, maybe you are dealing with um, neighbors that you just don't like them. And y'all can finally come to some kind of resolution whereas you can live harmoniously Remember, this is in Libra, as neighbors, okay? That could be a thing. Um, now, this could also look like some of my Leo Risings with a possible move, but if you move, it's not like a long, it's not like a move that's far away. You may be moving to just the same general area that you're in, but there may be changes in the dynamics of your neighborhood. Um, definitely changes in the dynamics or increased interaction with your siblings. So if you've been estranged from your siblings or your extended family or if there's been an issue with them, um, or, or it can not, doesn't necessarily mean an issue. Maybe you just guys decide to um, reconnect more and you talk more and there's you know, something with regards to that. Now, this could also look like um, this is a great time for you to um, possibly push those media type projects that you've had on the back burner for yourself. So these are my Leo Risings that have been procrastinating on getting that website done or procrastinating on getting that book done or procrastinating on doing those pushing, marketing your business, okay? So things around marketing, things around uh, media type things um, that you should be moving forward. And this could be some energy around your vehicle. And let me tell you something. See, this is why you have to really pay attention to what's going on. My damn tire, this same tire that's been giving me trouble for the last six months and I've taken it in three times and they keep telling me it's fixed, it is giving me a problem again. So this is the third house. The third house is about transportation, okay? So situations around your vehicle. Some of y'all just going to have to get a new car. I'm just going to have to say it. Some of y'all going to have to get a new car in Leo Rising and it's just as simple as that. Now, the area where your Pluto, where you may see some pressure from that is with your health and fitness, is with your work environment, is with your service to others and your pets. So this could definitely look like health issues coming up that need to be addressed. Um, but this also is puts me in a space of Leo Rising, um, trying to figure out um, those of you that are having a struggle with weight, particularly with losing weight, eating right and losing weight. Coming to a way of transforming, again, how you take care of yourself. This is pretty much the same, same information I gave with Taurus. Changing your diet, changing your workout habits, um, getting into therapy, uh, going back to therapy, whatever that is for you. Um, holistic methods of taking care of yourself. Now, as far as your work environment, I do believe some of my Leo Risings have been struggling with work. And this may be the time that you decide on how to transform your day-to-day -day work and make it easier for you, okay? This is also energy around uh, Leo Risings, getting their personal day-to-day -day routines, now outside of work, but your personal day-to-day -day routine with a little bit more structure on it, changing it up where it doesn't seem like you're doing so much and you're not getting anything done. So changes around your personal routine and changes around how you do work. You're gonna to have to figure out how to change how you work and your work dynamics. Now, I don't think for Leo Risings, this looks like a full on job change, but how you do your job changes in some way, if that makes sense, okay? Um, and this is also service to others. So some of my Leo Risings may be dealing with the situation of having to take care of someone or somewhat being in need of your assistance in some way in the next 30 days. Um, Virgo Risings or Virgo Suns. The full moon is going to be in the area that governs how you earn your money. Okay, simple as that. How you earn your money, your material possessions, your value systems, 
and the importance you put on money. Okay, so earning your money. So some of my Virgo Risings actually may be thinking about getting a new job. Or I have to tell you, this may be an ending of a job. Now, if this does happen and your job ends in some way, this is the setup for you to find something that is better suited for you. Especially if you're those Virgo Risings that have been in a job that you really don't like. And it's really not where you want to be. You're not happy. You hate going there. Uh, but you go there for a paycheck. And the reason this has to change is Virgo Risings are going to have to change how they um, relate to money. If you are in a job and you are only there for the paycheck, that has to stop. Because that is not serving you. Actually, it's actually probably um, doing more damage than it is good. You need to find something that where you earn money and you like what you do. I think you may be in the space of wanting a profession that you feel like takes full advantage of your skills, that you're being um, appreciated for the work that you do, and you feel like what you're doing is of value. So some of you will have an ending to a job, but keep in mind, this is something that is going to set you up for a better position. Or you may voluntarily decide that you're ready to either get a new job or start a business, okay? Now, the unhealthy attachment that you may have with money. We need to start to look at how you relate to money the value you place on money, and if you have an unhealthy placement of money, meaning that you equate your self-worth with money and how much you have, when in fact you should not be placing any kind of value, your self-worth and value on money, okay? You need to make sure that you uh, have a healthy relationship with money and you put money in its proper space place. Money is currency. It flows in and out, but it is not a representation of who we are. It does not deem us good or not good, depending on how much we have. So releasing that unhealthy attachment you have with money, releasing that unhealthy attachment you have with material possessions. Have you gotten a little bit too materialistic? Do you tie your self-worth and your value into the things that you own? Those are the things that you're going to be looking at with this full moon and putting those things in their proper perspective, okay? Um, your Pluto pressure is going to be in your fifth house. So some of my Virgo rises, I'm just going to be honest with you, may have a few challenges with your children, and it really doesn't matter how old they are, okay? So these can be our little children acting out or our adult children going through some situation or issues. Now, you could also be one of those that finds out that there is a baby coming along, maybe for yourself or maybe for um, someone close to you. Maybe some of y'all are becoming grandparents for the first time, okay? Um, now, I also have to say this. Um, there could be some challenges with, maybe somebody is going through an issue with getting pregnant or having, having troubles with getting pregnant. This is going to be a time that if you have been struggling with fertility, uh, Virgo Risings, you could possibly, um, I, I, I'm, I want to say, find a solution around your infertility issues that could look like maybe finding a new doctor or maybe there's a new medical procedure that's out there that could help you with that. But if you are struggling with infertility, struggling with getting pregnant, um, this could be the next 30 days where you actually find a solution for that. Or maybe you find out you're pregnant in some way. Uh, whatever that is, let me know. This is also a transformation around your romantic life. So a lot of pressure with that, a lot of change with that. There may be some changes. Maybe some of you are taking your relationship to another level and deciding that you're ready to get serious. And another level could be you guys decide to date exclusively if you've just been casually dating or you decide that you're ready to get married or maybe you decide that you just don't want to be in a relationship and you end it. But uh, dynamics around your children, fertility, and your dating life, Virgo Rising. Libra Rising, this is all about you. Um, so this full moon is going to be in your first house. So this could encompass anything for my Leo Risings. 
So for Leo Rises, I will say this to you. This is a time for you to release any type of negative energy, bad habits, self-sabotaging behavior, doubts, things that you feel like have been holding you back. And that could be yourself. That could be people in your life. That could be a job. That could be a project. Whatever it is, this is the time for you to release those things that no longer serve you. Okay? And also, because it's in the first house, this is going to be an excellent time for my Leo Risings to begin a self-improvement project on themselves. So this is the whole shedding of what you look like on the outside. So some of you actually may be considering cosmetic surgery, some type of changes in that area. Uh, some of you may be thinking about just changing up your wardrobe, changing up your hair, um, whatever that looks like for you. This is all about the aesthetics of you and you showing up different in the physical sense. And also your energy shows up differently because this is all about you releasing things that are holding you back, self-sabotaging behaviors. This is good for you to address any type of addictive behavior that you have, legal risings. So yes, the shedding of the old you transforming into the new you. Um, and your Pluto in the fourth house, there may be some issues with the family over the next 30 days that need to be addressed. Um, there could be some power struggles in the dynamics of your family. Um, a lot of changes with regards to your family. However, these are things that need to be addressed. So Pluto is also the planet that governs um, things that we keep a secret. Um, people that are trying to control us. Um, these are things that have to do with sex. Um, control. Um, this is kind of like the stalker planet. This is where we get our stalkers from. So if there is some heavy underlying issues that are going on within your family, unfortunately, they probably are going to come up in the worst way. Again, this is a, this is a time that they need to come up so you can address them, so you can move forward in a healthy direction for you and your family. Okay. Um, I would also tell you, those of you, just be mindful of the security in your home. Um, making sure that you are properly securing your home, your home is safe. Uh, making sure that, it, I would say for my Libra Risings, y'all probably need to install a security system. This will be a good time for y'all to start install a security system. Don't want to, you know, I don't want to alarm you or get you all scared, but a security system would be great right about this time. Just being careful with regards to whom people that you're letting into your home, who's going in and out of your home. Just be real careful with that um, moving forward. Uh, Scorpio risings or Scorpio suns, the full moon is going to be in your 12th house, the house of hidden things, uh, spirituality, endings, closures. Uh, this is the house of um, specialized populations. So um, this could look like people in hospitals, rehabs, or prisons. Um, this is the afterlife um, and our subconscious behavior. So my Scorpio Risings, um, this is time for you to, with this full moon, some of you need to be in therapy. I'm just going to say it. Some of y'all need to go see somebody because y'all need some help. Okay. So this would be great for you to start to address any of those traumas. Um, that you hold on to, those hurts that you hold on to, it is time for you to address those in a professional way. So whatever you decide for you to look like, if you want to go to a professional, a therapist, a psychiatrist, or you want to go to um, some type of checking yourself into some type of rehab center or checking yourself into some type of retreat, this is the time that you need to start the healing process, whatever that is and whatever that looks like for you. Healing is in order for you, and this is what we need to face. You know, we can only, Scorpio Rising, you can only run for this from so, for so long, okay? Whatever this thing is, whatever this addiction is, we want to address it with this energy. And I don't think that you're going to be able to push it under the rug too, for too much more longer here. So doing that this would be great for you if you could take a vacation a retreat um especially somewhere near water especially somewhere near water i would suggest that 
Um, now, this may put you in a space of hearing from someone in one of those specialized populations. So I don't know if someone close to you is going to have a hospital stay or is being released from a hospital or going into rehab, or this may be someone that's dealing with someone in a prison situation and maybe that person is getting out of prison or maybe that person reaches out to you. Something or someone with regards to one of those spaces, prison, a hospital, or a rehab center could be a big part of your life here in the next couple of weeks, next month or so, okay? Whatever that, whatever that is, I'm not really sure, okay? Um, and this could look like those of you that are... Um, that have been seeing someone in secret. I don't know why my spirit says to say this, but for whomever has been seeing someone in secret and for whatever reason you're seeing this person in secret, maybe you just wanted to keep the relationship on a hush until you figured out whether it's the right relationship or whether you're seeing someone that you should not be seeing, um, that actually may come out in some way. So be prepared for your secret to potentially come out with regards to this secret relationship you got going on. I don't know who that's for. I don't judge. Not my business. Um, Pluto is going to be in your third house of communication. So we're about to have some hard conversations with either our siblings, our extended family, um, or our cousins. Okay. So I don't know with regards to what that is about, Scorpio, but this is the house of communication. So this may be a much needed long overdue conversation and it may not be a pleasant conversation this is probably has something to do with some deep-seated resentments deep-seated issues that you may have with uh, certain people in your family that need to be addressed and the conversation needs to be had in order for you guys to move forward and, and heal in whatever way that is um and this is also good for those of you are, that are ready to transform your business especially those that are in sales and marketing or have their own business. This is a very transformative time for your business. So whatever those new ideas that you had for yourself and moving your business forward, uh, I would tell you to use this energy for that, okay? And something that be transforming in your neighborhood. You're another one that may be possibly moving or something with your neighborhood may be changing. Again, not a long move, not a big move, maybe just a, a move from one area close to the other area but maybe something is transforming with your neighborhood neighborhood and changes with that okay um sagittarius rising this is my niece i finally got to her um your full moon is going to be in the area that governs your friends your friends your social groups um your long-term goals that you have for yourself uh technology and unexpected blessings are here. Okay, full moon in that uh, Sagittarius rises. I feel like some of your friendships may be coming to an end. Um, or something in regards to your friend group needs to be addressed. Um, now, <laughs> now um, relationships come to an end. Regardless of whether they're friends, lovers, spouses, family relationships come to an end they sometimes have a cycle okay so Sagittarius rising your cycle of your friendships may be coming to an end so that could be oh it's a bird out there um that could be friendships ending um or you needing to acknowledge that there's an issue with regards to your friends um or you have to adjust your friendships Maybe they, maybe you've gotten this, this set of friends or this particular friend that, you know, they're a good friend, but they just don't fit in the direction that you're going in your life. And you don't necessarily want to end the friendship, but the dynamic of the friendship changes. Maybe you guys don't hang out as much anymore. Or, you know, maybe you kind of put that relationship to the side and you decide, I'm going to come back to it later. Right now, I'm pursuing some things. Or maybe you guys is... Um, path that you're on just doesn't match anymore and the friendship just dies out but a lot of energy around addressing your friend groups organizations that you're a part of um, this is also the area that governs our long-term goals so you may need to be going over your long-term goals maybe there needs to be an adjustment there or maybe you need to just scrap 
whatever it is you had on your list of things that you were going to do and you want to go in a different direction you want to get a whole new set of goals for yourself okay and this is the area that governs unexpected blessings so you could be the recipient of unexpected money um an unexpected blessing keep i will say to my sagittarius risings be open to new people coming into your life be very open to that um you may be getting a new set of friends that more perfectly aligns with the direction that you're going in okay now sagittarius risings the pressure is going to be on your money okay just as simple as that um, so transformative energy around how you earn your money. So some of you may be thinking about, I need a new job. This job ain't working. So you may be thinking about getting a new job. Um, yeah, that's probably what it's going to be. Getting a new job and getting control of your finances and your budget. You have got to get on a budget, Sagittarius Rising, and a budget that works and fits you. Okay? You got to get real serious about that. All right? So, uh, potential for a new job um, and getting on a budget and starting to take your money more seriously and watching how you spend your money, okay? All right, Capricorn rising. Wait a minute, do I need to stop? Capricorn rising or sun. Full moon in the 10th house. Changes in your career. Changes in your career. This is a good one. So the career, your titles that you wear, um, how you're known in the public. I think for Capricorn Risings, this is all about their career. So this could definitely look like some kind of change in your current career. So some of you may be getting a promotion. Some of you may be um, changing your the department you work. Some of you actually may be um, experiencing a higher up leaving or this person is no longer over you in some way. Um, so changes in your career path. So some of you actually may be lose, leaving your current career path to go to another job or to open your own business, to be in business for yourself finally. So changes around your career, changes on how you're seen in the public eye. I would not be surprised if I have a Capricorn rising or two that's going to be telling me something about changes in their relationship whatever that looks like for them. So if you're a Capricorn rising on here, I cannot wait to hear about those career changes and that potential for a relationship change for you. Yeah. And potential for a management change. Maybe someone you, your supervisor, your CEO, or someone like that is leaving the company. Okay. Now, this will also be great energy for you to start to formulate uh, a new plan for your career goals. Okay. So maybe you've had this idea of where you saw your career going and now you're like needing to adjust the plan for whatever reason. So um, a change in your career goals also could be a possibility. Um, then your transformation with that Pluto energy again in your first house. Now I will say with my Capricorn risings with this Pluto in the first house, you could experience a health challenge over the next 30 days, okay? I, I don't want you to, but you could possibly experience a health challenge. This is why I want you to be proactive in how you're taking care of your physical body. It's very important that you take care of your physical body because some of your Capricorn Risings are just going to be looking a lot differently here in the next year. So I don't know if you're deciding to start a fitness program, which would be great for you. So if you're a Capricorn Rising on here, this is going to be an awesome time for you to start to get in the best physical shape that you can get in over this next year. By this time next year, you're going to transform your body in a totally different way. But that's up to you whether you want to do that. But you have the supportive energy to change your physical body and your physical health here over the next year. So I would definitely strongly suggest that you take your health seriously and getting into top shape here over the next year. And Capricorn is a sign that once it commits to something, it sees it through. So this could really, really work for you. Um, Aquarius rising. Uh, full moon is going to be in your ninth house of travel, higher education, the law, religion, and foreigners. So this could look like some of my um, 
Aquarius Risings finally finishing school or finishing that area of education they've had for themselves. Um, this could also look like um, my Aquarius Risings planning a long distance trip for themselves coming up, uh, which is always good. Um, now, if there is a legal situation that's been going on with Aquarius Risings, um, you actually may see an ending to that, whatever that legal situation is. Um, and this is also the area that governs, again, your belief system, uh, religion, and your spirituality. Some of you are about to go through a transition with regards to what you believe in your spiritual life and in your religion, religious life. Um, I want you to embrace the change, Aquarius Rising. Um, I always have this thing where I say that religion, we get that from our family. Uh, we don't choose our religion when we're young. So we just get it from our family. So we just automatically believe that that religion that was given to us is what we believe. Until we start to get older and we start to grow and have experiences. Some of you may be going through the phase of what you grew up believing from a religious standpoint no longer aligns with who you are as an adult or who you are as a, a young adult or wherever you are in life. So you may start to feel like you are questioning your faith, um, questioning your belief system, um, but going in a different direction, be open, be open. Remember, religion is the doctrine, but spirituality is the connection. And sometimes we don't realize you do need a healthy balance of both, okay? You can be religious and spiritual at the same time, okay? It is allowed. But a lot of times we neglect that spiritual foundation. You really need that. So Aquarius Risings, if you are in this space of trying to figure out where you stand with religion, where you stand with your beliefs, this is a time um, that you may be shedding those old beliefs. Let that go and be open to receiving something new. Okay? Um, now, your... Pluto energy that's going to square off is going to be in your 12th house. Hidden things. Mm. Okay. Aquarius Risings. I just want you to be uh, prepared for the possibility of hearing information that has been withheld from you within the next 30 days. Something that someone has been keeping from you, or this may be a secret that you've been keeping from someone else, could possibly be revealed to you. I don't know what that is. It could be a good thing. It could be something that challenges you. But it's definitely something you didn't know, okay, that you could come to find out here in the next 30 days. Be prepared for that. Um, again, I don't know what that could be. But this is also a time for you to... Uh, take care of yourself. I want my Aquarius Risings to do a lot of self-love work over the next 30 days. I want you to be selfish. I want you to put your needs first. Take care of yourself. This actually may put you in a space of a little bit of depression or isolation. Not wanting to be around people. Kind of want to seclude yourself. If you need to do that, then go ahead and do that. And this could also put you in a space of having... Um, Paranormal experiences. So, particularly if you uh, are having an active dream life, if you can, when you wake up, if you can remember your dreams, I need you to write those down. I need you to start writing down any types of dreams, daydreams, symbolisms, things that people say to you that resonate with you. Write those things down. They may not make sense in the moment, but that may be some information that you need later on. There may be messages that are coming to you from people that have crossed over that are trying to assist you in some way. I know that sounds crazy, but just go with it. Just go with it. So just making sure that we are writing down things that kind of resonate in our spirit. We don't know why, but just write them down. And you're another one that may have some kind of connection with someone in a hospital, a prison, or a rehab center. Okay? And finally, Pisces. Pisces rising. Um, this full moon is going to be in the 8th house. Okay, so let's straight out the gate. Some of my Pisces Risings has a relationship that's going to come to an end. Again, relationships end. They end. Uh, they run their course. Okay? Now, again, I'm going to explain it again. 
It may be the full ending of a relationship or it may be the ending of how you're doing the relationship and it changes to something else. <laughs> Come on, April, don't give me that face. Okay, so it may not be the full ending of the relationship, but it could be. But it more than likely is the relationship ends the way that y'all are doing it. If the relationship is not working, this is the supportive energy for you to change it into something else that is more healthy, more balanced, and more harmonious, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, could there be a breakup? Yes, sometimes there's a breakup in order for you guys to restore it, okay? Now, if it's going well, if the relationship is going well, this could definitely bring on a renewed, intimate connection with the two of you. For me, this is a relationship house. So if you're seeing someone and you guys are, it's going well, this could make the relationship, the connection a little bit more deeper. So you just have to figure out where you are in the dynamics of the relationship and where you want it to go. If anything, this makes for great sex. And this makes, for, and nothing better than breakup sex. Well, maybe makeup sex. Well, any kind of sex. But anyway, your sex life can just, just get really, really good during this time. Now, I, I also have to caution you because this is a full moon. It could possibly be an ending. Be careful, Pisces Risings, with regards to the money or the resources that you share with another person. Okay. I don't want you to get caught out there um, unprepared for the possibility of a form of income or a form of monies that come to you from another person could be coming to an end fairly soon. So let me give you an example. If you were a college student and your parents have been paying for um, your college or they've been paying for your apartment or, or whatever, and then they tell you, okay, well, next month you're on your own. We're not, we're not paying for your, um, your apartment anymore or we're not going to support you financially while you're in school. You're going to have to figure out how to do it. Okay. Another example could be uh, those of you that are getting child support and then all of a sudden the, the other parent either quits their job or loses their job and now you're not getting that money anymore. So I want you to be prepared financially for the possibility of a stream of income that you depend on from an old oh, and, and maybe your sugar daddy just run out of sugar. Yeah, April, it could happen. But just be, <laughs> be prepared financially for the potential of that happening, okay? Um, but you'll be okay because you're a smart girl. You'll get you another sugar daddy. Um, now, your uh, energy around your Pluto could be in your friend groups. Girl, I don't know what's going on with these friends of yours, but the, the dynamics of your friendships may be going through a change. I will tell you this, Pisces Risings. You may find out that some of your friends have never been your friend. I, I have to tell you that. You may feel, you may discover that the friendships and the dynamics that you've been more of a friend than they have, okay? So there could be some changes within your friend groups. Now, could you salvage those friendships? Absolutely. They can transform into something else. Maybe you say, you know what? We still cool, we still cool, I, you know, I, we still friends, but we just not gonna hang out like that, okay? And now we kind of like, friends from a distance or it just could be the ending of a, of a friendship so just be mindful of that there could be some confusion around your friendships and endings to your friendships um also the, some of you may be seeing uh, the culmination of a long-term goal that you've had for yourself actually come to fruition or you may start to change your long-term goals and go in an entirely different direction okay but just be prepared for the dynamics of your friendships to change. I hate to tell you that. Damn, your sugar daddy gone and now your friend's gone. That, that sucks. But it'll be okay. It'll be okay. So that is it. Does anyone have any questions uh, about any of... Uh... My mom used to tell me this about a few of my friends. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. It'll be okay, April. It'll be okay. New people will come along. When we lose something, I'm a firm believer, when we lose something, we open the door for something better to come to us. We open the door for something that more aligns with us to come to us, but we have to release it, 
We have to release it and, and be okay and trust the universe is doing its job, okay? So does anyone have any so much for joining me this evening? I hope this information has helped you. <laughs> She's going to be fine. April going to be fine. She's going to be fine. Um, I hope this evening has helped you. Again, the full moon will be on April the 16th. It culminates at 2.55 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Some of you have already started to experience this energy because we all always say that you can feel the energy anywhere from two weeks to a month prior. And you will also have this energy heavy in your life for the uh, two weeks after um, the full moon. But again, this is all about releasing. So if you want to do any type of work, uh, manifestations, um, to release whatever this is in your life that you feel is holding you back or not serving you well, this will be the energy for it because Libra is all about harmony and balance and putting us in a good space in life.